Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. The story behind this card is we made this card in card class. And this is it here. And I quite like making it. This was made on one of them card bases, the red with the envelopes. Um, and with a embossing folder. Um, let me have a look. I don't know the name of it because I don't have it. Let's see. That is embossing folders. Tell I don't buy embossing powders, or I don't know where they are. And I don't think of tools, dies. Thought it was with the tools. Pinches, dies. Yeah, embossing powders. Right, this embossing folder was the hexagon embossing folder, a textured impression, um, 3D dynamic textured impression folder, that's what that was, that one. My one, one I used, is this one, it has got no leaves, no name on it. But it leaves a really good impression on it, which, as you can see, I've already done. So that's the one I used. These, I don't have these either. That becomes off the word die set for well said. I don't have that. So what I did. I got my animal out in and I use this die here. This one. And I cut six of them because they're a lot smaller than these ones. So, what I intend to do is extend them, glue them on and extend them to make them bigger. So, I cut six of them already. I have the stamp sets. This one I don't have, so I'm using the stamp set out of Daisy Delight, and I'm going to use that. Thank you. I don't have the hexagon. I did like a grid from Textured Express, no, Timeless Textures, and I use that stamp set. And we're also using Incredibly Like You for the flowers. So it's not that far off. Well, I don't think it is. So, we're going to make this version today. For that, you'll need a card base. I'm using Flirty Flamingo of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths. Scored at 4 and 1 eighth and folded in half and burnished. A piece of Flirty Flamingo at Five and five eighths by three and seven eighths embossed. So you can emboss it in any size you want. A piece of white cardstock for the middle, and this measures. Why have I got? Hang on. That's better. I don't do centimeters because I'm old school. And this measures, I think it's four and a half, yeah, four and a half by two and seven eighths. So that's four and a half and two and seven eighths. And you also need a bit of scrap for your flowers and your thank you. Right, to get started, to make this shape here, cut the corners out of this, 
I used a half inch punch and I don't know if you can see inside the half inch punch is a circle and I use that as my guideline. I put the card in to the bottom of the circle and just punch it out that way. Ooh. They're all the same depth. As you can see, they go flying everywhere. So that's, I end up with a piece like that. So now we'll do our stamping and with Flirty Flamingo ink, I don't know why that's on there, we will stamp our flowers. So do the outsides first, let's see if I can get two on here. Mm, very pale. Do them again. I think my flirty flamingo might need re-inking. I've never re-inked it since I've had it. That's better. And then the infill. You don't need to stamp off or anything because these are designed to not pick up as much ink and just subtly fill it in. And there you are. Then with Smoky Slate we want to stamp the word thank you which we'll do under here. And we also want to do the grid. Now, I do need to stamp off for this because my smoky slate is very juicy. And I'm just going to stamp that right in the middle, like that. That's all I'm doing. Get rid of that. Not really straight, is it? Let's do it again. and stamp it in the middle. That's better. Oh, I never stamped it off. That don't matter. No, it won't matter. So, what we need to do now is quickly cut these out. Remember if you're cutting, move your paper, not your scissors. too far down. Just one flower.
two flowers and with the thank you all we do is just you can go in and out the words if you want like that Nearly chop the O off then. Nearly done. There we are. I oh, will thank you. Get rid of the rubbish. And now we just have to sort these out. Now I want two the same size and one a little bit longer. So we chop these off. And I think I chopped some leaves off. Chop that leaf off because it just got in the way. That's all I did. Cut them in half and chop a leaf. Oh, chop a leaf off here. Yeah. And extend it. Do the same on this one. Chop that leaf off. And put some glue on it. And about the same size yet. Don't have to be too worried about the join because um, the flowers hide it. So this one I want a bit bigger. So it's got match at the bottom. So that can be added there. So we we'll just put some more glue on the. Oh, 
don't know why I'm putting it there. So there. Just need to get glue on my paper. I do have a silicon mat, but I forget about it. There we are. So, we have three now instead of six. So what we'll do is glue these in place. Let's put the longest one down first. Put a small one either side of it. ends up like that. Now with these we put one flat and one will go on dimensionals. So let's put the flat one down. And this one will go here on dimensionals. And the thank you will go underneath on dimensionals. So let's place this on our card. Placing it equally in the middle. Right. And then we place this extra glue for the embossing on the card front. Some dimensionals. And we put two large ones on the flower. We'll put a large one there and a large one. some minis out. Right, just put a couple of minis on. The word thank you. Now I'm gonna have to take that one off. Add that 
take these off. And this is going to sit so it's resting on that flower. rid of the bits in a minute and I'll just throw my poker tool on the floor. Now for the inside, what did I do? Oh, I did some little flowers. In this stamp set, there's a little tiny, tiny flower there. Ooh, oops, that way. And I used that to just decorate the inside. it was I put three in each corner but I'm not going to do that this time I'm just going to put two there and two there might as well do them in all four corners Not very in your face, are they? So, just like that. And then I should glue that. Inside. And pink flowers show up really nice on the next to the flirty flamingo card. So there you have it. One um, nice thank you card. This one I made out of Poppy Parade. I think that's the same colour as what this one was made of. Let's just come off the card stop. That's why I don't use snail because I don't think it sticks very well. Oh if you like it please give us a thumbs up and you can sh share if you want. If you'd like to see more of my videos please subscribe and press the bell button next to it and you'll be notified <coughs> sorry of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.